Good morning, um, Rob Watson here. Um, just thought I'd do a bit of an experiment with a vlog uh, as I'm learning to use the kit. I was going to come out yesterday, but it was um, it was really raining a lot, and it didn't seem um, worth being out getting soaked. Um, so I did uh, a load of ironing and watched some TV and some movies which is really pleasant um, but it's kind of sunny today but it's also incredibly windy so I don't know what this is going to be like in terms of sound quality I'm also incredibly self-conscious about walking along the street talking to myself doing this but you know let's give it a go I'm sure people will get used to it after a while or, or I'll learn to ignore people I always feel as if there's like a million eyes looking at me I'm not really sure what the way to do this is, where, where to, you know, I've been watching other people on YouTube and they kind of just don't seem to care um, where they point the camera or how long they talk, or what they say, all that kind of stuff, but, you know, <clears throat> anyway, so what I thought I'd do is I'm going to walk down to Castle Gardens because I know that area very well, uh, it's also relatively quiet. And I don't think people are too bothered about um, people who are there. Um, I'm, so I'm walking through what's called the Greyfriars area, uh, which is, extends down from, um, let me turn around, which extends down from the clock tower and comes past McDonald's. Uh, actually, if you head in that direction, you get to Leicester Market. Um, and then in this direction, you're heading towards the university. Um, and there's a few of the students now who have started to turn up. <laughs> Nobody is bothered. I think it's me being incredibly self-conscious, but I've kind of got to <clears throat> push past myself and learn how to do this. Um, so somebody's just getting a, a delivery. And they're in their uh, bathrobe. Uh, it's charming way to get your breakfast delivered on a Sunday morning uh, so what am I going to talk about actually on Friday I went to see the new James Bond film and spoiler free zone um, really good uh, kind of in a, in, in very well made uh, set pieces are great um, there's some really great moments like the bit in Cuba uh, it's really fun um, but uh, the baddie, the villain, isn't really fleshed out and you don't really get a good backstory. You don't know where they come from and what they, uh, what motivates them, you know. It's, you know. it's like somebody who can amass a, an evil empire that challenges another evil empire. Whoops, is, um, it's not really given much detail. I'm gonna take my hat off for a bit. There we go, you can probably see me better as well. Um, try and get across safely across the road um, see which way the cars are going they all just seem to be turning somebody turning somebody stopping there we go <coughs> and yeah so Bond was good but it's a long film um, so you know we, we got there at, I think it was 6.30 we got our tickets for and then by I think we were heading home at kind of half past nine quarter to ten so it, it is a, a lengthy movie Cars are stopping. Let's get across. Um, it's probably a really good test for the microphone, this, because you've got two things you've got the wind and you've got the, uh, the cars. Um, so I've got one of those, the, uh, the road. Uh, I can't remember it's called Go Anywhere or something like that too uh, and it, I got it with the, uh, the Lavia mic as well so I might have that in the wrong place and it might be picking up a lot of the wind noise but I'm just trying it out um, yeah so Bond was good and what else did I do uh, I watched yesterday what I watched while I was doing my iron was the foundation series on Apple uh, actually I was really impressed I thought it was really good um, very solid storytelling for such a, <coughs> a complex well it's actually it's, it's a fairly simple set of stories 
in the books but the um, if you like the backfilling the, the need to fill in um, the, um, the 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 relative complexity of the, um, the the environment if you like and some of the other characters and I thought the way in which they'd approached the ruling dynasty of the empire was a really good change and adaptation from the books uh, which isn't in the books it's kind of the books are intergenerational but with a book you can you know you can turn a page and you can skip a generation you can go 30 or 40 years ahead uh, and you don't need to worry too much about continuity of characters but with the um, with a tv series or a film then <coughs> discontinuity is to be avoided at all costs uh, it looks great the settings are great some of the set pieces um, are really good and they've kind of accelerated the sense of um, disequilibrium that is the, at the heart and Asimov famously based it on the fall and rise of the Roman Empire and you know so it has a very uh, grounded kind of feel to things or it feels very much like something that could happen has happened but it's transplanted into um, into a, into another environment which is you know a really great premise for for storytelling really where what you do is you you take an existing concept a uh, set of facts issues uh, and you transplant it so it's what George Lucas did with Star Wars transplanting the Vietnam War uh, into um, a, a space setting you know science fiction works well like that I've picked up uh, I, I want to read June before I go and see the movie that's coming up coming out soon <clears throat> and I picked up the book and I must admit I'm only 30 pages into it at the moment I've not managed so far to um, to kind of make any inroads into it I'm sure it will happen um, anyway I'm in Castle Gardens uh, some squirrels see if we can whoops, drop. So you can see from the movement of the trees that it's quite windy today. Um, it's going to last through most of the morning to the afternoon, I think. Um, yeah, then uh, we watched um, Infinity uh, with Mark Wahlberg. Um, all right, you know, fairly basic action kind of movie. Uh, kind of be a cross between The Matrix and... Um, Mission Impossible. Um, there were some, again, some good set pieces and, and made in the UK as well. There seems to be an awful lot of films that are being made in the UK these days. Um, and for some odd locations that were supposed to be in Scotland, but clearly there was only a bit of uh, background photography <laughs> that had actually been done. There was, didn't seem to be much else that had. Uh, uh, it was all right. It was. <clears throat> it, it maybe could have been a bit more tongue-in-cheek a uh, couple of podcasts I'm listening to the Rebel Wisdom podcast um, with an interview with the guy who runs whose name I've not learnt yet but he runs a podcast called Modern Wisdom which I knew nothing about uh, never heard of it uh, but there's over 300 episodes uh, I find this kind of quite amazing really that you know you think you're you're well tuned in to to different media platforms and then you kind of find that there's been a whole load of other stuff that's taken place, like travel videos on YouTube <laughs> that I thought, you know, I was aware of, but clearly I'm not. So um, it, um, but yeah, there's a really good discussion about the ethics of online media and kind of reporting through things like YouTube and setting up um, uh, discussions with controversial discussions sometimes with uh, different um, people who are 
interested in uh, contentious issues that don't get covered in uh, uh, by the, the mainstream news media, which can often be very closed down and locked down. So that's been interesting. Uh, the other podcast I've been listening to is Laura London's Speaking of Young, which is always fascinating and always uh, invigorating to uh, listen to the conversations that she has with Jungian analysts uh, who are um, kind of always gives me a bit of a reassure, sense of reassurance that um, the ideas that um, and the experiences that you know we have as individuals might be they're not so unique and that other people go through the same kind of processes um, so this is castle gardens in the autumn well it's the start of the autumn i think um, the leaves are now starting to turn brown and it's quite a very pleasant view of the uh the park uh, overlooking the river so uh, somewhere along here is where King Lear is supposed to have been buried um, under the river saw at the point where Leicester. This hill here is the Mott, which is the remains of the Leicester Castle, uh, which was here in the Middle Ages um, and perhaps where the Roman, all this area kind of is around where the Roman forts used to be. Um, and I've walked through here many times and I've done podcasts and things uh, over the um, over the last few months. A trick I've got to make myself feel a bit more confident at doing this is to put uh, headphones in. Um, so it looks as if I'm talking to somebody on the phone, which for some reason doesn't make me feel uncomfortable. Whoops. Sorry. So I, I feel as if I'm kind of pretending that I'm um, having a conversation with somebody so I can kind of talk to myself. Um, but I'm sure people spot that. One of the uh, conversations I had last week uh, it was pretty interesting about it was about the difference between um, being uh, extroverted and introverted and being um, driven by thinking or feelings as in values um, and that really kind of shapes how I approach these kind of conversations when I'm doing vid vlogs and things because I've struggled to kind of be descriptive and to articulate something which is external from what I feel and what I, what I uh, value. So I'm very good at kind of uh, bringing, you know, explaining things in terms of what my individual, uh, if you like, frustrations or apprehensions or beliefs are or you know what chimes with me from the point of view of it being uh, something which feels right to me I can do that but what I, I'm not so good at doing is externalizing and putting uh, that experience into a context an externalized context so just you know the sensation of doing this and kind of uh, locating things in the environment that I can recall facts and information about um, and to understand put myself in the position that somebody who wants to be like some more functional and practical information so one of the things I'm good at doing is having conversations with people about why things are important why things matter to them um, what I'm less good at doing <laughs> is is kind of uh, describing the journey that gets you there you know it's like on how did I get the train? Uh, how did I, where did I walk? You know, what was the route that I took? Uh, how was this um, uh, put together? Um, what else is it that I need to do to, uh, to, to kind of locate that in a practical reality? Um, for me, I find it a lot easier to 
engage with other people and with ideas on the basis of um, to some extent that they're meaningful um, and you know what what is that meaning sense of meaning driven by and how is that articulated um, so you know what 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 should we care about is a really great kind of question that we we might be asking and we might want to consider um, but let's see so this is Bead Park um, which is the route that I'm going to take home in a second um, I don't think I'll use my camera through here um, but yeah let me just try it for a second so I'm just having a, a sit down in Bead Park um, we're at the time of year when the um, the days are getting shorter and the nights are getting longer and you wake up in the morning and there's a chill in the air I've put an up, another couple of blankets on the uh, bed uh, put the second layer of the duvet back in um, and starting to wear full length pyjamas rather than shorts um, the other thing I've been doing recently is I've started getting back to the gym uh, so I'm doing a bit of regular swimming and a couple of times a week I'm, I'm doing a very basic workout of 40 minute workout mixed weights and resistance and cardio just something really really simple and really basic uh, by and large really just to <coughs> kind of get past the stodgy feeling that you know lockdown brought on of despite the fact that I'm doing a lot of walk and I put on a lot of weight I think I put, put, put on about 10 kilos which is uh, a hell of a lot of weight and um, kind of getting back into the habit of being careful with the low carb diet um, the low carb approach is not a diet but the approach uh, making sure you know every time I have wheat I get stomach cramps so you know I can avoid bread and pastry and pasta and things like that uh, having um, uh, mayonnaise really helps because I've got a bit of arthritis in my knee um, and actually the mayonnaise having some uh, avocado mayonnaise really uh, helps with that the um, uh, the other uh, thing I'm doing is swimming, so I went for a swim this morning um, and that, that really kind of just sets you up for the day. Uh, drinking as much coffee as ever, uh, pr probably still too much coffee, I could probably do with uh, cutting down on that and also what else have I been doing uh, health wise, uh, yeah <coughs> you know just, just, just trying to oh stop and eating after 7 o'clock in the evening, I think I got in the habit of having a snack about 11 o'clock um, and then kind of breakfast would be about 10 o'clock the next morning well if I can go through from uh, uh, 6 7 p.m. through to maybe lunchtime the next day uh, then a bit of intermittent fasting that goes with it as well and, and that does make a difference it reduces your inflammation it, uh, it you start to lose a bit of the kind of bloated feeling that you've got you know my, my weight has always been a problem I've never been uh, I've always found it very difficult to get rid of any kind of uh, abdominal uh, fat, um, despite the fact that I used to. I mean, I used to run a lot, and um, that that kind of has uh, compounded actually the uh, issues. You don't really lose a lot of that kind of fat. So, um, yeah, pleasant morning. Um, I think uh, I'll do one of these every now and again, just to try them out and see what I need to learn from. I'm learning every every time I do one. They're not very professional. I don't try and intend to be professional. Maybe in a few years time when I've, I've been doing them on a regular basis, then uh, then I'll feel better about them. But also when the, I've also got visiting somewhere interesting, because uh, at the moment I'm kind of stuck in Leicester and I'm, I'm a bit bored with Leicester. I think I see too much of it. So I don't really get a sense that it's, uh, anything worth talking about uh, I've kind of done that bit and I need to move on from it and find a different set of challenges of what and how and where and who I can talk with so anyway give us a shout I'm on Twitter and Instagram 
at Rob W Media. The website is robwatsonmedia.net. Um, who knows? Uh, let's let's keep experimenting with this and figuring out what works and what doesn't work. At the moment, as I say, I'm just learning to use the camera uh, and learn to use the microphones and stuff just to see what kind of quality uh, I can get from it. And one thing I might try and do is use Adobe Premiere, which I've only used Adobe Rush uh, to do some editing at the moment. So I might have a go with Premiere. Uh, maybe that'll be something I can do this evening. So anyway, until next time, thanks very much and stay safe.